This is almost a little embarrassing to admit, but I went wedding dress shopping in real life a couple weeks ago, and ever since then, all I've been thinking about is how I want to build a wedding dress shop in The Sims. I know I'm not alone in this, okay? We all do this where we like see a thing in real life and we're like, oh my god, I could make that for my Sims. But I'm I'm deep in that right now, and so today I really want to try to build some sort of wedding dress shopping venue in my Sims game. I've done this before using the retail system from Get to Work, but I had to stop and then we couldn't really do it for a while even when wedding stories came out because the mannequins were completely broken. I was so mad about this when the wedding pack came out and we couldn't make a wedding dress shop. All I wanted to do back then was make a real place to have my sims go and try on dresses and you literally couldn't because the mannequins would completely crash your game. I'm not exaggerating by the way, these mannequins were like completely busted for a long time. I just tested it just now though and I didn't have a crash so I think that we might be okay. I don't want to get my hopes up too high because again, I don't trust the Sims, but <laughs> I'm gonna build it anyway and hope for the best. I gave Bella Goth like five million dollars and I'm building this on a lot that she purchased in Magnolia Promenade. So that's like the little shopping district that comes with Get to Work. Weirdly, the front of the lot is this side and that has always bothered me. I do not understand that. You would think that like all of the shops would line up with this as the front, but no, no, that just makes too much sense. But I guess we can build ours to have like two fronts to it or something and just hope for the best. I also don't think that I want this to be too big either because realistically it doesn't need to be that big. Functionally we also don't really need all that much in here. Kind of what I'm envisioning is something a little bit similar to the dress shop that I went to in real life. I kind of want to have like a big set of mirrors, probably not these exactly, but you know something like that. And then they oftentimes will have like a little teeny tiny platform and you could stand on that with your little dress. So we'll try and do something along those lines. We can get some pretty mannequins in here. There's also like clothing racks in this game. Annoyingly, I don't think that any of them are like all white, <laughs> but we can get the one that has the lightest set of colors or something. I guess in real life, a lot of times these sort of places sell like bridesmaid dresses and like mother of the bride type of dresses too. So having colors, not that weird. Those are not dresses. <laughs> Those are like t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts. These are hoodies. Oh, that's even worse. Oh my God. Well, we'll figure something out. <laughs> I'm just trying to show you like the general layout that I'm thinking. And then we could have like actual bathroom stalls if we wanted to just to take up a little bit more space. And then somewhere, somehow, somewhere, we're gonna wanna have like a dressing room that we can put down. But that's kind of like the generic vision that I have for the building. I don't really know what it's gonna look like outside of that. All I know is it's gonna be something like this. I've also always just absolutely adored, it's, I think it's just this building, but they have a really cool like second floor thing going on up there. And I've always thought it was so cool how they had the second floor like wrapping around it. They open it in the middle like this, it's like, open downstairs and I just think it looks so pretty. So I don't know if ours is gonna be that way, but something like this is the vision. Get to Work also has like stunning perfect windows that we can use for this. I know that's not really centered, <laughs> so that might be kind of a problem. Should I make it small instead? Oh no. Maybe the entrance could be small. Oh, because we probably want to have a secondary entrance on this side, right? We did talk about that. I think I'm gonna put windows like all the way around this thing too. I feel like it's a necessity. And then I kind of have this desire. I know I just built something kind of shaped like this, so I'm sorry to do it again. <laughs> I'll even show you. It was this cafe. I'm kind of channeling similar shape with this, with like the windows on the bottom and then like smaller windows on top. But just hear me out. We could use the wedding stories windows because these are so cute and they're white. Those are kind of a little bit blue actually. Oh, I like the little metal on that. Oh, that's nice. Do any of the get to work awnings come in white? In like a pretty white? Ooh, that's white and gold. I think that the white and black is kind of good though. That feels bridal to me, right? In a good way. I'm so bad at community lots. I have like one vibe <laughs> and that's all I can achieve with community lots. It's so embarrassing. We definitely don't actually need to have two toilet stalls in here. Like that's a complete waste of space, but I kind of want to anyway. Okay, so imagine if we had a staircase kind of in the back like that, because that means we can have a nice pretty doorway into both the bathroom and the dressing room. I'll do like a simple door. I may end up swapping this door out for like a, I don't know, archway. Should the door come out this way on this side? I, I only have like one frame of reference for this because I only actually went into one store, but in the store that I went to, it was kind of like this a little bit. The mirror was like on this wall and you came out of a dressing room on the side and you could go to like a mirror right here or a mirror on the main wall. Me having this be open kind of ruins the vibes though because it's not centered anymore. Oh, maybe we could do this. Oh, ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's okay if the dressing room has an arch. And then imagine if we had like this mirror. It's actually kind of small. Oh <gasps> No, this one. Oh, 
Oh dear. I don't know if the gold fits my vibes. This mirror is kind of dirty. I actually think that this one's better. <laughs> oh, I think we probably want to have some dresses that are like kind of in the windows like this. I know they probably shouldn't be facing into the building because in real life you'd want the mannequins to be facing like the windows to advertise, but I'm okay with them facing inward because this is The Sims and mostly we want this to be good for our own gameplay purposes. <laughs> I'm not that worried about advertising. I'm more worried about like us being able to see the dresses inside. But look at this. Oh, it's incomplete. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot you a cash register. I was just out here trying to put dresses in. Completely forgot about the cash register situation. We do need to have one of those. That is actually a necessity. So we'll put something back there, kind of like that. I guess that could be good though, because it does make this side make more sense. And then the entrance being here also makes sense if we have the double-sided entrance. So that's okay. But what I wanted to show you, let me save the game first too, just in case. Oh, we'll need to get some seats. Maybe the family can sit on chairs over here. That'll be fine. But you can change the poses of all of these so we can kind of make them like more interesting interesting and then we can create outfits in create a sim and we can put them in all the pretty dresses oh oh my okay that wouldn't be my pick <laughs> I probably wouldn't choose that personally, but I kind of just want to use like all of the wedding story stuff. I'm having all these visions of like absolutely stunning, beautiful gowns and we can even mix and match them. Like you can put rings and jewelry on them too. Cause when your Sims come here and try on these dresses, it'll try on the full outfit. I like the all lace on this dress. Oh, it's interesting how this one looks with the mannequin. The hair looks really strange on the mannequin, unfortunately. That kind of makes me feel sad. Obviously this outfit is very specific because it has to have the hair there for the veil to work right with the outfit, but the veil and the hair do not work right with the mannequin. <laughs> That's so annoying. This one is my favorite of all the dresses and wedding stories, but for some reason it's like clipping really weird on the mannequin. Any ideas as to why it's doing that? Because <laughs> I don't know. I might give the Sims some pearls because they have the pearls on the dress so we can mix and match pearls like on the outfit too. I don't know if that looks bad or not. We'll see how it looks in game. We can always change it. I'm actually not sure how many. I guess we can only have five formal wear mannequins, huh? You're actually kind of limited with how many mannequins you can have in the building. I think the max is maybe 10. So I guess we should be slightly careful. I'll just pick those for a second. And then maybe underneath party wear, <laughs> we won't be having these. <laughs> but maybe I'll put some more underneath party wear just so we can have more outfits. I quite like the idea of these suits, but I also almost want to have everything be white. I know that there's like a lot of really pretty not white outfits, but I'm kind of like channeling the all white vibes in here. So I don't know if we should do black or not. Let me just go really quickly and see what the mannequins look like with these outfits on before I spend too much time because we can always edit them, but I just want to see how it works first and hope that nothing crashes or anything because that would kind of change the vibes a little bit. The mannequins have kind of like a weird lighting to them, don't they? Okay, dress mannequin. Let's put all of these in clothes. Oh, we can see that now too. Oh, this looks so cool. Are you still gonna glitch? No! <laughs> okay, that dress is ruined. We can't use the pearl one. It looks terrible. We'll have to swap that out then. All of a sudden having the dresses in here makes like a world of a difference. It looks like a real store now. We'll come back and work on that more. I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see how it would look. I wish I had a bigger mirror. That's like the number one dream right now is to have a bigger mirror for this. <laughs> I guess I could put a mirror in here too. And then some Somewhere we want to have like actual clothing racks. We also have the whole upstairs to think about too. I think there could be another dressing room upstairs. Maybe it could be a bit smaller. Oh, maybe upstairs could be like not wedding dresses, but like maybe like bridesmaid dresses, just other formal dress selection. Cause then we could have some more colors up here if we did something like that. How many mannequins? Can you have 10? I feel like you can have 10. Let's see if it tries to cap me. Yeah, 10 mannequins per lot. Okay, that's fine. Cause I think I can do three upstairs for this section. And I think that gives gives me a completely reasonable selection downstairs. Like this one having what, seven? That's fine. We can do a seven. Do I want to put racks behind the counter maybe? I'm not really sure. I guess we can always think about it more. We don't have to decide right now. I do also think that for the flooring, it should be like marble, something fancy on the floor. This is marble tile, which I don't know if that's so much better, but it is really fancy and kind of the vibes. And then we could do like all white paneling everywhere. You know, something like this, you could totally see that happening in real life. I might also also get myself some little columns as add-ons. Oh, should I like, maybe we make a little separate archway? I don't know. Is it weird to have it closed off? I don't think so. In real life, they have stuff like this a lot, like just a fancy couch for the family and friends to sit on. I'm really, really tempted to have the whole place be white. I kind of like the black there, but otherwise I think I might leave it. And then I'm wondering about the modern luxe kit because this one has a lot of really pretty stuff. I don't know, like these kinds of shelves, that's the the cute sort of decor that I feel like we need to have. Although we don't really have space for decor. Okay, saying that, um, where? <laughs> 
<laughs> Decor where? Let's get a pretty like formal chandelier thing. All silver. Everywhere all silver. Slight little gold accents maybe with some of those details, but mostly all silver. Okay, new question. Do we think they have curtains? Oh, well first of all, we absolutely want to have a curtain here in the dressing room because then obviously you would close it when you're getting changed. Oh, maybe we do want to have gold accents because like look at how good that looks. The modern Lux kit is just too good. Seriously, like that is unmatched. The vibes of that in here, that looks perfect. And you know what? It does need color. It needs something. So that having the gold is good. Oh, we could put a rug on the floor. I don't know about that rug. I might pick something a bit more simple, but the rug is good because it kind of tells you where they should stand when they're gonna come stand in front of the mirror, which they won't actually do, <laughs> but you can pretend. That actually reminds me, I'm sorry to use so many packs, but the mosquito stuff pack does have the little mark on the floor. So we could, use this to force them to stand there. Mosquito stuff also has some more racks, but these aren't really like, I don't know, it's not really screaming like bridal shop, you know, but that could be okay for upstairs somehow. Hard to say. Wait, what if upstairs is like a portrait studio? No, wait a minute. Oh my God, that's actually way cooler to have it be a photo studio. We're already using a ton of stuff from Get to Work, so we could use the big photo thingy. Oh, deleted the whole thing by accident. No, this is actually really good, I think, because if you wanted your Sims to come here and take like proper wedding photos, you could totally use this space. And then I, I guess I can sneak in some extra mannequins somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I have a couple from upstairs that we can try and bring downstairs. Maybe one can go right here, kind of in the corner. That looks pretty. Well, there's plenty of stuff for you to shop when you come in here. <laughs> there is a lot for you to see. Do you think having brick is a total departure from the vibes, like in a bad way? Because the other idea I had was to use Get Famous and have like marble, but this is also a departure from the vibes. So I don't really know. We could put the logo on the wall and that makes it feel kind of fancy. We definitely need a different retail counter because this one's just not the vibes and you can't change the color of this either. It's stuck that color. The more expensive one is like the same thing, but you can actually pick a color. <laughs> so we could change it to something else. This is a retail counter too. That's a bit more fancy. I guess the sun is kind of fun as well. I feel like with some pretty lights and then maybe like, I don't know, wall decor or something, it'll all come together. Do you think hanging a hanging plant behind that is bad? No, that actually looks really good. Okay, we'll use that. Oh no, that should be gold. This is a good time to have more gold. Okay, yep, yeah, that works. <laughs> Let me put one of these over here too, kind of by the little doorway. I really like that actually. And then I guess this room should have the same marble, yeah? Oh, I forgot about windows. <laughs> Uh, do we want windows in the back? I guess it probably should have windows in the back. Otherwise it's gonna look ugly, but we can try and maybe cover this with, oh, this is clipping. Uh oh, I didn't even notice those were clipping, but I guess we can try and cover the back a little bit with like plants. Cause I don't really want any windows back here. Cause it doesn't really fit with the vibes of the building. I may use the logo a few places then. Cause I do kind of like how the logo looks. I was kind of considering getting like a small table. Maybe one from the pack would be better than modern Lux kit, but I was kind of considering about using Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I want a table so I can put the magazines on it. High school years has a fluffy rug. I think the fuzzy white rug is kind of what I'm going for with this. I guess they can stand there on the fuzzy white rug and try on the dress. Open to trying a different couch as well. If we can find one that maybe fits a little bit better. I do like the gold accents on this, but I don't love that it's a little bit smaller, but we can make do with that. I kind of like the idea of these being like bridal magazines or something, we can kind of pretend. And then I'm thinking we should get sconces put on either side of those pictures. We could probably do sconces on either side of this too, because that gives some more dimension to this wall. I still wish the mirror was bigger. I wish it was like twice the size, like a big mirror like that is what I'm going for, but it's not gonna work. I kind of want to mimic the platform thing a little bit, but I'm also kind of stuck right now between like what is realistic versus what makes sense in The Sims because this doesn't look good. Like the little place marker doesn't look good, but your Sim can actually stand there. So we could like say, oh, wait photographer and you can make your Sim stand there and then you could use that to get some good screenshots if you wanted to like pretend that they're shopping for a dress. So is it better to have the the pose marker there just for sake of pretending. Cause look, we can try on the outfit quick. Oh, that was actually really quick. <laughs> Sorry, Bella. But you know, we do it like that. And I think that makes sense. Set all the lights to be a bit more yellow. Oh, that's really yellow. Yeah, it's very, very bland. I wish that these were like racks of white dresses. That's my vision. <laughs> my vision is, wait a minute, I could do that, can I? I'm so silly. We have the clothing rack. It's from high school years, yes? There's like literal racks and you can hang the clothes up on them. 
Do these come in all white? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why did I forget that it's like modular? Hold on, everybody. Well, sorry for like the false alarm. I think we're gonna be fine. Oh, huh? Why do they hang like that? Okay, well, that's not really screaming bridal either. <laughs> these are all kind of high school years energy, aren't they? Well, Dream Home Decorator has some too. And we can do shoes because we have like little heels so we can put those in. Oh, no, that is exactly the vibes. Exactly the vibes. Okay. Well, I could probably use the same thing again in here. That is perfect. I'm so excited. Do we do like marble stairs? I hadn't really considered that. We have them. <laughs> we do have marble stairs. The option is available to us if we want it. Should I try and split this up into two dressing rooms then maybe? Because I guess that is possible and that's maybe a little bit better. I guess it's like less useful for you as the player because you don't really need two of them. But also your sims aren't going to go in here anyway. This is pretend. This is like fully playing pretend right now. <laughs> this is the most pretend play that we've done all day. <laughs> this is the least useful part of the whole build because when they actually try things on they just stand in front of the mannequin so they don't actually need this part this is all just in our heads i think the marble stairs are too much i'm gonna try and tone that down too i'm trying to like warm the place up you know because it was so so bland the hanging plants are a good help because it brings some more gold in i actually really like the vibes in here like i think this place is beautiful okay so in the bathroom this is probably like the least important aspect of the whole place i'll do something quite similar to the rest of the building but we'll get the sink kind of here on the side. And there are two toilet stalls. So if you need the bathroom, you've got plenty of room. Ooh, what if we put like a robe up on the wall in the dressing room? Oh, I quite like the vibes of that. I think that makes sense. I never know what else to put in these bathrooms. I'm like, um, should they have an ottoman? I, I don't know, just put something there. <laughs> and that's a fully functional bathroom, I guess. Maybe I could put some sconces in the separate toilet rooms above the toilets. I really love the artwork from the Modern Lux kit. Like that is just beautiful. Okay, that might be the whole downstairs finish. Let's think about this upstairs room a little bit more. I'm thinking no curtains because we want to have all the natural light for our photos, but I may try and mix and match some portraits like this on the wall because I like the idea of pretending that maybe they took them here. I don't know. Half the Sims is just playing pretend, right? Well, these Sims, they they take photos. They, they do like magazine shoots, of course, makes perfect sense. And I'll leave this room quite open for you to use that for. And then maybe in here, this becomes like the office or no, maybe better. The Modern Lux kit has like some pretty stuff like this. We could totally do a vanity instead. I, I mean, I think that makes sense. Okay, that honestly might be all the furnishing I want to do. I don't I don't want to overdo it. I want it to be useful still. So I say we call it there. Let's think about the outside a bit more because I haven't done that at all. We didn't even touch the outside yet. Platforms are like your best friend for stuff like this. I always think that, but really with platforms, you can do a lot. It takes like a plain flat roof and all of a sudden makes it not plain anymore. It's like a complete game changer. Yeah, the back of that's pretty ugly. That's okay. We can make do. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's gonna be fine. I think we'll do landscaping here here in this little section and maybe back here too or maybe we do like a whole bunch of plants in that whole space we have to break out the debug it's the only way i also don't like the flooring <laughs> that was like just a, a placeholder and i've left it here this whole time i don't intend to keep that i wanted something that seemed more like i don't know public space i guess like that one with the light gray it looks kind of weird maybe i can't tell i guess it doesn't really match the other floor that's part of the problem this one's that color so we could use that here too. That should be fine. So my wonder right now is can I take this sign and try and like float it here? I want it to not slot. <laughs> I want it to just be floating up on the wall. One, two, three. Maybe like Oh God, maybe like that high. I think that's fine. I could see that making sense on the outside. I'm also kind of tempted to paint a lot of the walls black on the outside or to do like some sort of black brick. I just don't know if it's gonna look ugly with the rest of the building because everything is so white and I don't really want it to be like so, so, so white everywhere, but maybe it should be. <laughs> You know? Oh, the sign can be black on the outside. I kind of like that better. Okay, I'm gonna put some little tree cages down. I think it's okay if the tree cages kind of block the building. <laughs> I feel like that's not unrealistic, so it's totally fine. But we can get them going all the way around the side of the building. They're actually in the base game debug, so everybody has access to them. You just gotta put in a few cheats first. Oh my goodness, that's way too tall. <laughs> Size every single one of those down, please. That is simply not going to do. That height's better because it feels more in line with the building. And then we can rotate all of them a little bit differently so that it hopefully looks like it's not the same tree just repeated a million times <laughs> even though obviously it is the same tree just repeated a million times i like that little bit of greenery with the bush and then we could do white flowers next to it or maybe i just take this and i 
I use these like three times. Oh, that's beautiful with the big white flowers. Never mind. We're doing that. I'll use those all over the place. And those are just simple base game flowers too, but I think that looks pretty. I know it's very simple, but I, I think simple is kind of what I'm going for with this. It's actually really hard to decide what kind of dresses to put in there because there's not that many mannequins. Like you wanna use more of the, the in-game stuff, but there's really not that many options. We only have 10 max. We'll come back to that though. I wanna get a couple more little decorative things kind of on the roof. I never know if this is like even laid out in a way that makes sense. I'm just kind of like, ah, eh, put some stuff up there. <laughs> just give them some things. It'll, it'll look real. <laughs> yeah, sure, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. In the retail items, we do have some more like, I don't know, like a sign could be cute. Oh, I guess this sign maybe makes more sense for a bridal shop, whatever. <laughs> I've already picked it. Just let it be. Oh, here's the platform. That's a bit taller than what I would probably have us standing on. It's taller than what I was standing on when I went to the bridal store. <laughs> That's how I know. Maybe we do a sign there too. Just something little. Do any of these have like dress vibes? Not really. This is probably the best we're gonna get as far as dress vibes go. I kind of like the idea. This makes it look like it's a cafe or something. Obviously it's not, but I kind of like the idea of putting some little tables and chairs outside. First of all, it kind of helps with the accent color thing that we're going for because we don't have anything black out here so it helps to add that in but also it might be nice to have a place to sit it kind of makes it look like this area is blending into the environment a bit better it's like becoming a part of the world as opposed to just you know existing <laughs> so we can add some stuff like that oh i should put another door on this side because this is where you enter from over here thoughts on dumpster absolutely horrendous terrible idea but it's always kind of fun to have a woohoo spot <laughs> i know that sounds bad okay but we can like hide it behind some walls and then you can go back there and it's a woohoo spot. I don't really know how much else to add to the outside. I'm nervous about overdoing it. I like the idea of it being quite simple. Oh, well, that's a problem. This is clipping. We can't have that. <laughs> that ruins the vibes. Okay, let me see what dresses we haven't used yet then and we can fill them all in. This one needs to be switched so maybe I'll edit it. We can't have the pearls because the, the clipping looks weird. I was really hoping that it wouldn't do that once we actually got it in game but unfortunately it did do that. <laughs> it did in fact continue to do that. Let me see what all dresses might look good. Like this one could look good with some pearls because we don't have the other pearls anymore. That one's pretty, that one's pretty. Oh, that's the same thing again. Oh, I used it twice. Oh, oh, that, okay. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if we can use this one. <laughs> that's horrible. Why is it glitching like that? Oh my god. Okay, that's not gonna work. Is that one a glitch too? I don't think the bottom's supposed to be doing that. Why are the bottoms doing that? Oh, you know what I haven't used is the base game wedding dress. Uh, now that I think about it, we probably should have at least the one base game one, right? I feel like that's important. We need to have at least one. All right, let's try these. I love the posing. That's so fun. It like completely changes everything when you have them posed nicely. For some reason, I actually cannot tell which ones I have used already and which ones I haven't. Are those all split up nicely? Okay, so over here, I wanna put this one on this dress. I think this is one of my favorites. You can barely tell because it's so lit up. <laughs> I really like that one though. But that officially covers all of the mannequins in the building. They're all dressed up nicely. I really am happy with how this building turned out. I wish, I think my biggest problem right now is that I wish that we had more mannequins because I wanna use more of the dresses in the game. I wanna just use more of the items in general. And obviously this is all very white <laughs> in like multiple senses of the word. I didn't use any of the other wedding attire, but some of it was kind of bugging weird in cast. You saw a few of them there. I don't know if that's just because the mannequins are kind of bugged, but it'd be fun to do a different wedding store that maybe was a bit bigger or like, I don't know, it'd just be nice to have more mannequins. I wonder if there's a mod that lets you have more than 10 because I, I wish that I could do more I'd make a bigger store and fill it with more stuff But this I think is pretty good for what it is and hopefully it's useful for you and your sims I like the idea of coming here and like actually pretending to shop for a wedding dress One other thing that we could do just before I go from wedding stories. They also have a couple like stands One of them that sells the cake is sort of stuck in Tartosa, but the one that sells the Flowers which for some reason I can't see oh here we go the one that sells the flowers we could totally put here and then you could buy your bouquet on this lot too. You'd have to staff it, you have to hire a vendor, but sometimes hiring a vendor just for the vibes is worthwhile, I feel like. <laughs> sometimes you can just do it for fun, although no one's actually going to work it. I think the vendors are kind of bugged right now. Isn't that on the laundry list? Okay, well, take my word for it. <laughs> You'll have to just trust me, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna upload this to the gallery. It's to replace that paddy wax emporium in Magnolia Promenade. I'm gonna call it the bridal boutique. Even if you don't end up actually buying the dress, here, it's kind of fun still to 
just pretend and have them come try on and like do a thing with their family. I used to do that all the time. Oh, I should have saved. Oh no. I used to do that all the time when I was younger and like when the pack first came out, when Get to Work first came out, but I've kind of fallen off from that. So it's fun to do it again. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I did actually post a TikTok last week about my real life wedding dress shopping. <laughs> I posted it on Instagram too, if you want to go and see it. It was just the dresses that I didn't buy that I tried on. So if you want to see like the real life dresses I was shopping for, I can show you those. My name is just Lil Simsy across all social media, everywhere, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, all the things, just Lil Simsy. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this video right here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. This was really fun for me. So hopefully it was fun for you because I'm like thriving right now. <laughs> I just think it's so pretty.